Hey y'all, this is Paul from Fraser. Behind us is East Baton Rouge EMS new unit. Let's go take a look at it. This is a type one, 12 foot, four inch taller module on a Ford F450, 7.3 gas, four by two extended cab. Now, as you can see in the extended cab, there's a lot of extra room for extra equipment and or passengers. This is a standard Fraser O2 compartment. The one thing unique about this one is we've, they use a smaller unique cylinder specific to Baton Rouge EMS. So we've made the brackets and the rollers accommodate for that size of a cylinder. The Fraser standard electrical compartment, also with the MEPS system under the hood as well in here. And in the radio compartment, the ACU or the brains of the MEPS unit. Here's the rear backboard storage compartment with shelf. It allows one Stokes basket and two backboards. And over here on the passenger side rear compartment, since it is a MEPS powered unit, this gives a lot of more storage space. East Baton Rouge has also elected to go with the smooth painted wheel well covering versus the diamond plate or tread bright, which really looks sharp with their graphics package. And here is the Crossfire valve stem extenders which allows one port fill to both tires and it equally distributes the air pressures between the two tires as you're filling to keep them at an equal pressure. Stepping over here to the front IO compartment, they also put in an additional shelf just to help keep everything organized. And to the curbside entry door, since we have a four inch drop, you get that nice double step entry. All right guys, well now we're interior of the East Baton Rouge module. Over here, they've elected to go with the double locking aluminum doors. You can also have an option for medic, med vault, medic safe, and or cargo netting. Step over here to the Austin Hardware Life Defender cabinets with the sliding and the restocking feature. Allows you to get in there, restock the goods, and not have to worry about doors and that in your way. Standard action wall with suction. East Baton Rouge is elected to go with the Zoll vent. And this is the bracket from Zoll that will mount the, the vent right here. The strapping goes up and over your vent to allow it to stay in place and not bounce out in case of an accident. At the CPR seat, they've elected to go with the Valor seat backs with a handy storage underneath. Lift up, out, and down. This allows you to get into the cabinet and access your equipment a lot easier, the door not being in your way. Standard Dometic AC unit with a UV disinfectant lamp inside the air conditioned plenum to help disinfect the air as it recirculates. And then stepping over here to the squad bench. Valor seat backs again and to allow a secondary patient and or second backboard We've put the extension arms in here. Lift up, out, times two. And this will give you the distance to be able to allow that backboard placement. Next option they uh, decided on was the UV disinfectant lamp system that's on the ceiling. It also has a timer in the electrical compartment. Once everybody leaves the, the module, go to the electrical compartment, one button app push, It'll turn it on. You set it for the time you think that you need it to go for. It is also set to the doors, the entry doors. So when you open the door, it will turn the disinfectant lamp off so the medics can enter into the module safely. Well, thanks guys for watching this video with me and thank you East Baton Rouge EMS for allowing me to be part of a great project like this. This is one of 36 units we'll be delivering. And if you'd like to see any more videos, please look us up on the website at fraserbuilt.com.